Littlefinger attends a sword jousting session for Lord Robin at Runestone, along with Elaine and Yon Royce. Royce remarks on Robin's weak skills at swordsmanship, but Petter insists his name is all that matters, not his skill. A maester delivers him a raven message, which he reads discreetly. Littlefinger leaves Robin in the care of Lord Royce, for further training. On the carriage ride, he is questioned by Sansa as to why they are heading west when Lord Royce was told they would be traveling to the Fingers, unsure of his source of distrust. Petter promises her that they are going somewhere far away, where Sansa will be safe from Queen Cersei. While at an inn, Petter and Sansa are confronted by Brienne of Tarth, who previously swore an oath to Caitlyn Stark to keep the Stark girls safe. Petter reminds Brienne that she swore an oath to Renly Baratheon and Caitlyn Stark, both of whom are now dead, in order to stop Sansa from trusting her. Petter attempts to persuade Brienne to rest with them, but Brienne and her squire, Podrick Payne, escape, and discreetly continue to follow Petter and his party. However, when the party arrives at the ruins of Moat Caelan, Sansa realizes that Petter intends to marry her to Ramsay Bolton, the son of Lord Ruse Bolton, who betrayed and murdered her brother and mother. Despite Sansa's reluctance to marry into another family that harmed hers, Petter persuades her to go along with the plan, citing it as a chance to avenge her family. They subsequently ride through Moat Caelan and arrive at Winterfell. Later, Petter speaks with Ramsay and subtly warns him not to inflict any harm on Sansa. He also speaks with Ruse regarding the validity of Sansa's marriage to Tyrion Lannister. Petter insists that since Tyrion never slept with Sansa, their marriage is invalid. Ruse declares that he is only interested in Sansa's name, not her virtue, after Bellish suggests he have Sansa inspected, and voices his doubts as to whose side Petter is truly on, having essentially betrayed the Lannisters by taking Sansa away from them and returning her to the north to marry into a family that the Lannisters are no longer backing, though Petter counters by citing Ruse's betrayal of the Starks and Tullys. Ruse then presents a letter for Petter from Cersei which arrived from the Airy, and demands to read Petter's reply before it is sent off. Later on, Petter finds Sansa in the crypts of Winterfell paying her respects to her deceased family members. Petter recalls about how Rhaegar Targaryen kidnapped Sansa's aunt, Lyanna, which started Robert Baratheon's rebellion against the Targaryen family. Petter then tells Sansa that he has to return to King's Landing on Cersei's request. Sansa expresses unease about being left alone in Winterfell, but Petter tells her not to worry since Stannis Baratheon is garrisoned at Castle Black and will most likely make another try for the Iron Throne, which will require him to retake Winterfell, destroy the Boltons and win the Northern Lords to his side, and out of respect for Ned Stark's support of his claim, Stannis will rescue Sansa and name her the new Warden of the North, and if Stannis is killed, does not even come, then Petter suggests Sansa can destroy the Boltons from within. He kisses her on the lips again and departs. Bellish returns to King's Landing to find the city under the rule of the newly re-established Faith Militant. Lancel Lannister, a member of the religious cult known as the Sparrows, warns him that his days as a brothel owner in the capital are over. He goes to meet Cersei and he informs her of the Boltons' plans to marry Sansa to Ramsay. Angered at the Boltons' betrayal, Cersei agrees with Bellish's plans to lead an army of Vale Knights to Winterfell to reclaim the North for the Lannisters as the warriors from the Airy are trained to fight in winter. The weather is starting to turn at this point, but only once the Boltons and Stannis Baratheon have battled over the north and weakened both armies. In exchange, Bellish asks to be appointed as the new warden of the north once Winterfell is taken and both the Boltons and Stannis are defeated. Cersei agrees and tells him to return that night to have the king sign a royal decree promoting him. Bellish later stands in his ruined brothel with a look of regret. He is approached by Olena Tyrell, having sent her a letter to speak with him. As they speak, Olena mentions how her grandchildren, Marjorie and Loras, have been arrested due to Cersei's machinations and demands his help by threatening that if anything happens to her or if House Tyrell goes down, she will reveal his involvement in Joffrey's murder, which will certainly lead to his execution. Bellish reveals that Cersei summoned him to King's Landing for a piece of information he had, his prostitute Olivar and he tells Olena that he will give her the same thing he gave Cersei, a handsome young man, implied, in this instance, to be Lancel. Olena subsequently forces Lancel to reveal the adulterous affair he had with Cersei to the High Sparrow, who has her arrested.